we humans, being a couple of feet high, weighing barely a quintal are capable of making and building things million times bigger and heavier than us and we have proved it. Hats off to those engineers who have built them. So let's have a look at the top 07 biggest machines of all time which we've never imagined of. These are the machines which are so big that you might have to walk a kilometer or so to view them completely. So get ready to get your jaw drop. The countdown begins. Number 7 or Gustav or Hitler's giant gun was a fearsome weapon of war. A distinctive feature of artillery of the Second World War were cannons of every increasing size and caliber. One other such weapon was the 914mm Little David, constructed for the American Army. It was intended to be used for attacking Japanese bunkers at the end of World War II. This mortar was the biggest in the world, but it was also never used in combat. The Japanese surrendered before its deployment. Schwerer Gustav was conceived prior to the beginning of World War II when Hitler demanded its construction as a precursor to the invasion of France. It was to aid the German army in penetrating the Maginot Line. Its construction missed the invasion of France but it did take part in some actions throughout the war. After years of development and construction, the weapon's impact on the war was very small in the greater scheme of things. As impressive as the weapon was its fate was far from honorable. Number 6 The Crawler Transporters, formerly known as the Missile Crawler Transporter Facilities, are a pair of tracked vehicles used to transport spacecraft from NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building VAB, along the crawler way to Launch Complex 39. They were originally used to transport the Saturn Nib and Saturn V rockets during the Apollo, Skylab and Apollo Soyuz programs. They were then used to transport space shuttles from 1981 to 2011. The crawler transporters carry vehicles on the mobile launcher platforms used by NASA, and after each launch return to the pad to take the platform back to the VAB. The two crawler transporters were designed and built by Marion Power Shovel Company using components designed and built by Rockwell International at a cost of 14 million US dollars each. Upon its construction, the crawler transporter became the largest self-powered land vehicle in the world. While other vehicles such as bucket wheel excavators like Bagger 293, Dragline excavators like Big Muskie and power shovels like the Captain are significantly larger, they are powered by external sources. Number 5 On April 4, the world's largest tunnel boring machine broke through to the open air after almost four years underground. Called Bertha, the giant digger was tasked with the challenge of building a tunnel large enough to carry four lanes of motor traffic under the heart of Seattle. The story of how it made the 1.7 miles kilometers, journey under the skyscrapers of the port city is not only a tale of a remarkable machine, but also of civil engineering, geology, politics, luck, and proving the old adage that anything that can go wrong, will. Bertha's journey started not in Seattle, but in Nisqually, Washington, about 60 miles 100 kilometers, south of Seattle. On February 28, 2001 at 10.54 a.m., the rural community was the epicenter of a magnitude 6.8 earthquake that rocked the region. Now known as the Nisqually or Ash Wednesday earthquake, the tremors wreaked havoc on the cities and suburbs to the north. Number 4 The world's largest container ship, the 21,413 to Oak Hong Kong, has made its maiden call at Hutchison Port's port of Felix Toe. The call represented a double celebration as it also marked the return of Oracle to the UK's largest container port after a 17-year absence. Built by the Samsung Heavy Industries, the Oracle Hong Kong is the biggest cargo ship ever built. It has a carrying capacity of 21,413 tons, being the first one to cross the 21,000 mark. 
to his 20-foot equivalent unit, an inexact way to indicate one 20-feet long container. And guess what, the biggest cargo ship is powered by the biggest internal combustion engine, the Wurzler Sulzer RTA 96C generating more than 80,000 kilowatts of power. Number 3 it can move 240,000 cubic meters of earth per day, it's as heavy as more than 8,600 cars, and it's as tall as the Statue of Liberty. These are just some of the outstanding features of Bucket Wheel Excavator Bagger 288. It has been in operation at the Garsweiler Open Pit Lignite Minutes since 2001, prior to which it was used to dig coal at the Hambach Mine 22 kilometers away. When it was built in 1978, the Bagger 288 was the largest bucket wheel excavator in the world, and it is still one of the biggest land vehicles today. Machines used to mine large volumes of minerals over longer periods must above all be efficient and economical. And this is where the Synquip's continuous mining technology comes into play. Bucket wheel excavators are the ideal solution, they can move as much lignite and overburden in a day as 40,000 workers, 240,000 cubic meters, equivalent to more than 10,000 dump truck loads. The material is picked up by the bucket wheel and transported on conveyors over 3 meters in width. The overburden is dumped by spreaders. Number 2 F60 is the series designation of five overburdened conveyor bridges used in brown coal, lignite, open cast mining in the Lusatian coal fields in Germany. They were built by the former Voxhagener Betrub Tachruf in Lochhammer and are the largest movable technical industrial machines in the world. As overburdened conveyor bridges, they transport the overburden which lies over the coal seam. The cutting height is 60 meters, 200 feet, hence the name F60. In total, the F-60 is up to 80 meters, 260 feet, high and 240 meters, 790 feet, wide, with a length of 502 meters, 1,647 feet, it is described as the Lying Eiffel Tower, making these behemoths not only the longest vehicle ever made, beating CY's giant, the longest ship, but the largest vehicle by physical dimensions ever made by mankind. In operating condition, it weighs 13,600 metric tons making the F-60 also one of the heaviest land vehicles ever made, beaten only by Bagger 293, which is a giant bucket wheel excavator. The first conveyor bridge was built from 1969 to 1972, being equipped with a feeder bridge in 1977. The second was built from 1972 to 1974, having been equipped with a feeder bridge during construction. The third conveyor bridge was built from 1976 to 1978, being provided with a feeder bridge in 1985. The fourth and fifth conveyor bridges were built 1986 to 1988 and 1988 to 1991 respectively. There are still four F-60S in operation in the Lusatian coal fields today. Number 1 The Large Hadron Collider LHC, is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It first started up on September 10, 2008, and remains the latest addition to CERN's accelerator complex. The LHC consists of a 27-kilometer ring of superconducting magnets with a number of accelerating structures to boost the energy of the particles along the way. Inside the accelerator, two high-energy particle beams travel at close to the speed of light before they are made to collide. The beams travel in opposite directions in separate beam pipes, two tubes kept at ultra-high vacuum. They are guided around the accelerator ring by a strong magnetic field maintained by superconducting electromagnets. The electromagnets are built from coils of special electric cable that operates in a superconducting state, efficiently conducting electricity without resistance or loss of energy. This requires chilling the magnets to minus 271.3 degrees Celsius, a temperature colder than outer space. For this reason, much of the accelerator is connected to a distribution system of liquid helium, which cools the magnets, as well as to other supply services. 